Guys in the world of M&A, we got some news late yesterday. Uh, I think the Journal first reported interest uh, in a, um, a company called Horizon Therapeutics. They're, I guess you'd call it, it's rare disease. They have a multi-billion dollar uh, drug, though. In fact, uh, estimates that it could peak as much as $4 billion. It's for thyroid eye disease. It needs to be infused. It's actually, so the drug is marketed to your ophthalmologist. Um, it's not a gene therapy or anything like that, but uh, it is a rare disease drug, so to speak. And by the way, we've seen a lot of consolidation in, in both either oncology or rare disease over the last, let's call it, 18 months. Um, the belief being when it comes to rare disease, perhaps it's not quite as problematic to get reimbursement uh, from insurers. Uh, in this case, uh, there seem to be three interested parties. What I have uh, heard as well is, as you might expect, they went out to even more than that. So it does appear to be an auction, essentially. The company's saying, hey, let's see who's out there. Unclear what motivated that, whether there was a letter sent initially that then, said, that then they said, well, let's check and see uh, what will happen. Very much unclear what will happen from here. Remember, this is Irish takeover law, very similar to UK takeover law, which means a, when there is any report, they need to come out and say whether it's true or not, and so they have. So this is now in the public realm. We know three companies that they at least have had some conversations with, Amgen, Santa Fe, J&J. &J. Uh, and January 10th is now the date at which one or all need to come up with some sort of actual um, firm intention to make an offer, or else you kind of go in your timeout period. So we'll keep an eye on it be a very large deal. Uh, this is not a small company. We're talking well over 20 billion. Let you know uh, people make their decisions there in terms of what this company is worth. But clearly seems to have been in, in auction mode, guys. And again, an area that we have seen a lot of interest in being rare disease, um, where there are certain benefits, as I mentioned, including perhaps less reimbursement issues. Not as, uh, not as dependent on a large sales force. Remember, remember Genzyme? That was sure. kind of the first of oh, them to go. Oh, my God, Genzyme. Yeah. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. is that data? Um, but again, also, Carl speaks to the fact, you asked me last week, there is a, there is a beat to, to M&A right now. There is perhaps more than we might have anticipated. Uh, we'll see whether they get to the finish line here. Right. Yeah, J&J's mentioned because of the Abumed. No, I got to tell you, that's device. Yeah, I'm this is sure. different. This is the yeah, pharmacy. Yeah, I'm not sure the J&J is just going to decide, okay, that's, that's going right. to get our growth better. Yep. I mean, their pharma is spectacular. Remember, they're doing the split up.